But when I was in high school, I needed everybody to like me all the time. And so I never ruffled anybody's feathers, never rocked the boat. I kind of learned that again from my parents, you know? You don't want to get them upset because then the whip comes out or whatever. But I extended that to high school and to people that, uh, that I knew. I would go back and, and allow people not to like me. I'd give them the latitude. If they wanted to hate me, let them hate me. But back when I was a kid, if people had trouble with me, man, I had, I had trouble with me. And I thought, if they don't like me, there must be something really wrong with me. And, uh, when, when I finally found out who God was and how much he loved me, uh, now I'm the kind of person, I don't need to have every student in my classroom like me anymore. And if I have to discipline somebody, you know, for, for cheating on a test, I can do it now. Uh, doesn't do anybody any good just to, just to wink at it and pretend it didn't happen. Uh, but to know that if God loves me and I've got a couple of friends, I've got a couple of friends who love me, I don't need the world to love me. So I can be prophetic. I can be honest. I can be bold. I can call sin what it is. I can help, I can help my friends with their blind spots. Huh? Doesn't the Bible say that wounds from a friend are better than kisses from an enemy? I was going around kissing everybody. So, you know, real friends help each other when the, ki when the other one's messing up. I, I've never, I was never that kind of friend to a person because I needed them to like me. So I always told people what I thought they wanted to hear. You know, that, that doesn't work. It's never worked. And when did I find out it didn't work? When I became a dad. Because if fathers are like that and they cave in when the ice cream truck comes down the street. If you cave in every time your kids want to go their way, that kid winds up with a marshmallow backbone and no character. They wind up pretty much like I was. 